Dr. Nomi Prabhupada, my name is Mr. Hamid Zian, Wisdom School. Uh, first of all, I want you to stay at home. Please, stay at home. Why am I here today alone? I'm here to help you to study in your home. Stay at home, stay safe. Gliss back. Clean the death. Okay, perfect. Uh, the course of today, uh, conditional. In English, there are four conditionals. Condition type 0, type 1, type 2, and type 3. For condition type 1, if I have time next week, I will visit you. We have two verbs, or we have two phrases. It's like this, up 1 and 2. Uh, if I have time next week, I will visit you. We start with if, of course, because it's conditional. All conditions will have if. Of course, we have if or endless. We will see endless after. If I have time next week, I will visit you. So what is the form? The form, of course, we start with if plus the verb in the present simple. Present simple. What is present simple? I speak, you speak, he speaks. I go, you go, he goes. I do, you do, he does. I work, he work, he works. The verb changes in he and she and it. This is the present simple. Plus will, I will visit. The second part, of course, here we have a comma. It means plus, that's the comma. We have will, will plus the infinitive of the verb. I will go, I will have, I will finish, I will sleep, I will stop, I will be safe. Number two. If all Moroccans stay, the verb in the prison I like have, stay at home, we will fight against the coronavirus. If you don't stay in your home, you will not or you won't fight against the coronavirus. So please stay at home. If you stay at home, if all Moroccans, me and you and everybody stays at home, we will fight the coronavirus. Of course, will for the negative form, it's a want, like this, apostrophe T. If uh, you stay at home, you will be safe, negative form. If you don't stay at home, you won't be safe. The third sentence, our families will be safe if we stay at home. What's the difference between one, two, and the three? For number one and number two, we start with if, and for number three, we have if in the middle. It's the same. The difference is in, if we have if in the beginning, we have here punctuation, we have comma in the middle. And if we have if in the middle, there is no punctuation. So in number one, for example, you can say, if I have time next week, I will visit you. Or, I will visit you if I have time next week. It's the same, the only difference is uh, the punctuation, the comma over here. Uh, so this is the form, a plus present simple plus with plus the verb in the infinite, infinity, okay? I try to speak, so when I speak you can take notes, you can just uh, stop the video a little bit and you can take notes. And of course when you finish you can just give me some examples and then it works for you. For the use, conditional type 3, we speak about the past, it's a regret. Type 2 is the present. And type 1, it's the future. For example here, if I have time next week, what is next week? Next week means the future. If I have time next week, I will visit you. Next week, I have time, I visit you. If I don't have the negative form of the present simple, I have, you have, he has, she has, it has. Negative, I don't have, you don't have, he doesn't have, she doesn't have, it doesn't have. If I don't have time next week, I will not visit you or I won't visit you. So we speak uh, in the future. The future and this uh, action is not sure, but it's possible. So future and it's for a possible action. What does possible action mean? For example, when you say if I have time next week, two possibilities, if I have time or if I don't have time. 
So if I have time next week, I will visit you. Is it sure? No, it's not sure. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. So future, we speak uh, about the future, and the action is possible, and of course it is not uh, sure. This is uh, conditional type one. As examples, for example, here, you can just uh, write some examples and text. For example, uh, I don't have money, I can't buy a Lamborghini. If I have money, I buy, no, I will buy, okay, I will buy a Lamborghini. Uh, if uh, telephone number, I can't contact you. If I have your telephone number, I will contact you. Negative form. If I don't have your telephone number, I won't contact you. What's won't? It means that I will not. Will not. Will not means I, I won't. Uh, well, uh, well, this is the first conditional or conditional type uh, one. Uh, the form once more, it is very clear. And uh, this is the use. And of course, you can just uh, write some examples. Or you can just write a story, like this. In this story, for example, you can write, if I have time, I will read books. If I read books, I will be intellectual. Intellectual, intellectual, whatever. If I am, or if I become intellectual, I will be very important in society. Morocco is changing. Society in the future, they will not accept you, sorry, they will not accept stupid people in general. Those who have, I'll just say, uh, so many U YouTube channels, etc., they will not be accepted in the future. Morocco in the future will accept the intellectuals. Morocco will accept people who have something in their brains. If you want to find your place in society of tomorrow, please stay at home. This is conditional type zero. If you want to find your place in Morocco of tomorrow, please stay at home. The stay at home is an imperative. This is type zero. But I want to try to have some uh, revisions of conditions after. Let me tell you, I was very happy and uh, let's say pleased to serve you for my place here. In the classroom, I have students, but today you are not with me. I really miss everybody. Hoping to see you very, very soon in the classroom. I will see you in the classroom if you stay at home. I repeat the sentence. I will see you in the classroom if you stay at home. If you don't stay at home, that thing is going to happen. Please, stay at home. Have a nice afternoon.